What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. Alright, so uh, today I figured I'd do a little bit of a wrenching video. Um, so we got Tim here, the good old off-road beater that you guys have seen in the last couple of my videos. Uh, this car's still going pretty good, so it's kind of earned its right for a little bit of maintenance and maybe a mod or two. Um, so the thing is we, uh, we put a higher, because we snapped the axle shaft, you guys may remember, we put a... Uh, higher ratio diff in it and that's just what I had laying around it's it wasn't by choice um, because I have the big tires on it and this axle is a G80 from a turbo car um, it actually has a higher uh, diff ratio in it I'm not too sure exactly the number but um, this car is really slow now that's all I'll say uh, first gear you can get to like 80 kilometers an hour in first gear uh, which is crazy with that being said though I do really like uh, having just first gear as like the do-it-all gear on the river because you can get going pretty fast as you guys saw in my last video of the Baja racing if you haven't seen that video check it out um, that was a lot of fun oh man we might have to go do that today actually again after I put this cam in um, but yeah so I figured this car could use a couple extra ponies and I was looking on the shelf and I remembered that I had this here uh, so this is a slotted A cam a right there uh, this is actually a really rare piece uh, in Canada and the US here um, I forget where I got this this actually came with the first Volvo that I ever bought I believe um, it was just kind of like a, you know included with sale sort of thing so this a cam is you know it's quite a bit more aggressive than the stock M cam that's in uh, the non turbo uh, B230F motors that came in Canada here um, so the M cam is like it's known to be the worst cam that they ever put in these motors it was basically straight for emissions and fuel economy I guess probably not even fuel economy to be honest um, so I'm gonna swap that out uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to swap out a cam it's pretty straightforward process on these cars there's just a couple things that you'll have to remember um, so this cam is like ten and a half millimeters of lift and uh, it's got another 20 degrees of duration I think uh, in comparison to this cam this cam is like 9.5 millimeters of lift So it's pretty low um, Definitely not a performance cam by any means So I'm hoping maybe if we throw this a cam in I can pick up about 10 horsepower uh, That would be nice uh, it, This car definitely needs it, but um, you know since the car has been so good to me it keeps on running I'm gonna do a bit of work to it. So uh, Yeah, let's get started guys. So pretty straightforward. Um, First we're going to take off this timing belt cover. We're going to have to remove the timing belt obviously. We won't have to remove it completely off the bottom pulley though. Uh, just off the top one so you can you can mess with the cam and stuff. So there's going to be a 12 mil bolt down, 12 mil bolt down there, a 10 mil right there, a 10 mil right there, and then a uh, Phillips screwdriver head right there. So I'm going to get that off. And then after that I'm going to uh, disconnect all my spark plug wires from the distributor here. Um, actually, you know what, I probably don't even have to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to get the distributor out of here though. So it's two 10 mil bolts, one's right here and one's on the back there. What you're going to want to do is mark your distributor where it sits right now because this is factory spec. We're going to want to keep it right there. Um, I'm not too sure. I think. Uh, LH 2.2 cars you can actually adjust the distributor and it will change your uh, static timing but uh, whoopsies um, on it uh, Regina like this car is and an LH 2.4 car I'm not too sure if that even does anything but just to be safe I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna line it up in the exact same spot that it was when I took it off um, so we'll get the distributor out we'll get this off and then we're gonna get the valve cover off and uh, then I'll show you guys some stuff. Um, we're gonna have to make sure our timing marks are all lined up. Then we're gonna know where to put the new cam in. So, um, okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get those things off and then I'll, then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys, so, all right, we got the valve cover off. Uh, we got the distributor out. Uh, the distributor takes a little bit of wiggling. There's not a whole lot of room back here, but you kind of just kind of pull it to the side and out and just a little bit of wiggle generally comes out itself uh, make sure to get all your valve cover gasket you're gonna want a new one uh, you should never reuse a valve cover gasket especially if it's really old 
usually won't seal up very good for you next time. Um, I have one back there that I'm going to use. So, uh, where are we now? Okay, so the cam's exposed now. Um, I got the timing belt cover off. So what I did here, oh yeah, if you guys don't have an impact gun, these are a lifesaver. This like, this makes everything just 10 times as fast. Um, okay, so what we're going to want to do is line up our timing marks. Uh, top dead center. So, if you guys don't know where those are, uh, I'll bring the GoPro down here. Fuck. Um, okay, so there's one of the timing marks right there, that little notch on the uh, bottom pulley there. So right there and then on the timing belt cover right here, if you go just down a little ways, there's a zero. Uh, it's underneath here. There you go. So there's a zero. See how that, that zero is lined up with that mark on the pulley? So that means top dead center. Um, and then if you look right here, there's a little dot on our cam gear. So right there, and that's lining up with the back mark on our, uh, on our cover here. So that's perfect, we're at top dead center now. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is take the timing belt off. Um, so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna loosen this tensioner nut. And once that's loose, we're gonna pry the tensioner over and then we're gonna re-tighten it in its, uh, in its loosened position. So then we can pull the belt off and just, we can just flop it there. So just give me a sec here, um, I'll get that done. All right, so it's gonna be a little hard to do this with, uh, with only one hand. But now that this tensioner nut is loose, if we look here, I can, basically what I like to do, uh, you, sh you should be fine doing it this way. This is a big breaker bar. I stick it down onto the bottom pulley there, and I just push that way. Oh god, this is super crusty. Um, so there we go. See how it pushes that way like that? That loosens my belt. Now that I have it in that position, I'm going to put the GoPro down for a sec. I'm going to tighten the nut up in its loosened position. So then uh, we'll be able to work that belt off. There we go. So now we got a, a loose belt here. So we got a bunch of play. Um, you're just gonna slowly kind of, kind of work it off the cam gear. Uh, not a huge deal. Just kind of work it. I'm gonna put the GoPro down for this, and then, uh, then we'll get to our next step. We're gonna take this. Uh, thir I believe it's 13 mil. I'm gonna take this 13 mil bolt out for the cam gear. Pull that out, and then we can take our cam caps off, and the cam will actually come out. So. Uh, like I said, pretty straightforward job as far as a cam swap goes. Uh, these cars are not too difficult. So uh, give me a sec here. All right, so I got the belt off. Uh, you're gonna want a, an impact for this. Uh, it's gonna help out a lot. If not, you're gonna have to find a way to hold the cam in place so you can break this nut free. An impact's gonna help me substantially. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a swivel socket on here. I think it's a 13. And yeah, I'm gonna hammer that off, and then the cam gear can come off, and then we can take our cam out. So give me a sec here. All right, so where were we? Um, oh, had a bit of a problem getting this uh, bolt off. I was actually really tight. The impact wouldn't even do it. Uh, so what I had to do was put a 24 millimeter socket on the crank pulley and hold that in place with a breaker bar. And while I, I had to put the timing belt back on, put it back to tension, and the timing belt held it in place, and I was able to crack that nut loose with a big breaker bar. So, or sorry, the bolt loose. So now we got this cam gear. Uh, this has to come off, it kind of just wiggles out like this. Eventually it'll come. There we go. So that's off. Our cam, mind you, is still set to top dead center, but that doesn't really matter because we're putting the new one in. Um, okay, now we're gonna take off our one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten uh, cam caps. So there's five cam caps, there's ten nuts. Um, make sure you have a torque wrench for putting these back on. The proper torque spec for those cam caps is 17 foot pounds, I believe. Uh, so I just bought this brand new torque wrench. Um, I got it set to 17 pounds right now. So we're going to worry about that in a sec here. But um, okay, I'm going to get this M cam out and then we'll line up the A cam and then we'll start putting things back together. So really not too bad guys. Um, as, far as, a, as far as a cam swap goes, uh, this is one of the motors I'd definitely prefer to do it on. Um, definitely a lot, e a lot easier than some other stuff. 
Okay, one thing I want to note before you take these uh, cam caps off is while you're loosening them, you want to slowly loosen each of them as you go. You don't want to like completely take this one off, completely take this one off. The problem with that is the valve springs are then going to be pushing upwards on this cam while this part is still clamped down. And uh, I'll be honest, I've had one of these cams snap on me before. Uh, the end broke off actually um, because it was kind of stuck in this head. I took a screwdriver and tried to pry it out and the thing just snapped in half. So um, they're definitely fragile. It's cast iron or cast steel or whatever the fuck. Um, so it, it's brittle, but it's strong, you know what I mean? So just be careful, really kind of ease your way into it. Take them off as you go um, and they should be good to go. All right, so here we go. We got the cam caps off. Now the cam is free. I can remove it now. Uh, so make a note kind of this this dowel pin is uh, or roll pin dowel pin whatever is Kind of near the top there. So when we're placing the a cam back in the head, we're gonna want to line this up ish So uh, we don't like, you know compress them down and bend valves or anything like that um, Yeah, so make sure you have your seal uh, make sure you keep track of that I don't think no the rear doesn't have a seal. That's just the distributor seal. That's gonna seal up that um, so there's no, there's not like this cam seal back here. That's all good. So, okay, I think we can just take this out actually. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a shitty M cam. Yes, M. M for lame. <laughs> Alright guys, Tim has an A cam. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it slid in all nice. Uh, I got the cam caps on, torqued to 17 foot-pounds with my new torque wrench there. Uh, so yeah, all I got to do now is put my valve cover gasket on, which I have right now. I put a little bit of silicone. So what I usually do around uh, this part here, because there's these two little corners in there, and they like to leak. That's the main spot these valve cover gaskets leak from. So I put a bit of silicone in there, clamps it down, usually seals shut. Uh, torque that. I just did a couple Ooga Doogas. I didn't actually torque it to spec. I'm not too sure the torque spec on it. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, as long as it's tight, that's good. So yeah, cam uh, valve cover's going on. And, oh, there's a guy over there that hates me. Um, valve cover's going on, and distributor's going to go in. And, damn, we are pretty much good to go. So I'm going to throw that on, and let's start this thing up. I'm stoked to hear what it sounds like. As you guys remember, this car has an open downpipe. Um, we crawl under here the exhaust ends right there so you know it is what it is <laughs> um, but yeah oh wow there's some fuel lines under there I can get ripped off when I'm off-road and I see okay okay all right so I'm actually curious if this a cam is gonna sound any different probably not it's not too much different spec uh, it's not something crazy like a K cam but it should sound a little bit different, give it a bit more throat, and it will probably have a bit more power too. So, um, yeah, we'll go for a little ride in the car after, uh, and then we'll kind of see. It's not going to be fast by any means, but it hopefully picks up a bit of power. That's all I'm asking for. So, all right, I'll get these, uh, these last things back in, and let's fire up. All right, there we go, guys. So the cam new camshaft is in. Um, I gotta put the cam or the sorry the timing belt cover back on, but I'm just gonna wait a second until I fire it up, see if it's all good. Uh, I'm gonna keep this short because this car is really loud in my neighborhood here. But uh, let's see how she runs. Okay, a little more lumpy, definitely. It definitely runs. It uh, just doesn't want a cold start as well. she runs it's definitely lumpier that's for sure a lot more duration a lot more lift um, well I guess we'll go for a cruising right now let's see how she feels it's definitely lumpier this car is still gonna be very slow but uh, hopefully it's a little more powerful than it was before put on this way
three more power. All right, guys, so you probably couldn't really notice inside the car there. Um, it definitely feels like it's got a bit more go, though. Um, the sound of the motor is a little more lumpy, sounds a bit more aggressive. Uh, it's got a whole nother millimeter of lift and uh, quite a bit more duration as well. So all in all, pretty good mod for this thing. I uh, just need a little bit more power. That's all I was really asking for. So this thing's ready to hit, hit the river again. Um, many more vids to come out guys, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, I think me and David actually might go make a little video right now, do some, some jumps, a bit of off-roading in this thing. I actually just washed it because it was such a good car. I figured I'd give it a wash. It kind of deserved it. Uh, but let's go make it dirty again. So that'll be next video, guys. Um, hope you liked it. That's basically how to install a camshaft. Uh, if there's anything you want to mention in the comments, let me know. Uh, things I forgot, maybe. Um, I tried to do, be fairly thorough about it, but you never know. Um, sometimes miss a few things. So... Yeah, make sure to check out the Drifts and Lifts store if you want your Volvo Drift beer merchandise. Uh, we got four different designs. Um, fairly soon here, I want to come out with another one. Uh, I got to get my good friend Davis to make me up another one. Um, so let me know what you guys want to see for shirt designs and stuff like that. We can get that covered. Um, yeah, link to the store is in the description of this video. So check it out now. Um, lots of good stuff on there. Hats, shirts, blah, blah, blah. So I think that's a wrap up of the video. Hmm, like and subscribe for lumpy Volvo turds. Peace out.